this video, we're going to look at the diameter functions on the Silvac HiCal. To engage into diameter mode, we're going to use the diameter function being the top button on the display. When in diameter mode, you're going to see we're going to have a diameter symbol as well as a center line symbol. This is going to give us a diameter and a center line on our display of the measurements that we're taking. We're capable of measuring IDs and ODs, center lines, distances to the center, as well as center to center on bores. To show you this operation, we'll drive into our bore in diameter mode. We're going to be slightly off center from our reversal point. We will engage our probe. At this point, when our probe is engaged, there's a constant measuring force that's going to sit down on that probe so we can tram through that surface with the probe maintaining contact through the contours of the bore. So my probe is engaged. I can sweep through that bore. I can then drive up to the opposite side, engage my probe, sweep it back through, and once I cross the reversal point, my display will freeze, locking in on my diameter and my center line. My center line is currently based off of the zero position established on my surface plate. If I wanted to measure an OD, I could measure an OD just the same. If I come to the boss here, I can engage slice, slightly off-centered, sweep up and over the top, release the contact, drive it down, engage, sweep it back through the bore, release it, giving me an OD. 6.5 inches center of the OD to my surface plate. I can also measure from bore to bore, so a center to center distance from a hole. If I choose a hole and I want to measure from this bore, engage my probe, sweep it through the bottom, drive it up, engage it and sweep it back through the top, releasing it with my diameter measurement as well as my distance to my plate. At any point, if I hit the zero button, I'm establishing a zero to the center of the bore. From here, I can measure to another bore. If I were to step down to one of these smaller bores, engage the probe, sweep through the bottom, drive up, and sweep it back through the top, release the contact, I have a diameter measurement, and then I also have a center to center dimension from my larger bore to my smaller bore, negative 1.71 inches. That's going to give us the center to center from the two bores. So we can measure IDs, ODs, center lines, center positions to a surface, also center to center on two bores. Thank you.